Hello everyone, welcome to the Ramsgate Rail Pool League and Only Frames production here. We have Scott Whitaker taking on Tom Morgan for a top four finish. Don't worry if you're looking at the scoreboard now and see that Scott is 2-0 up. Unfortunately, we had some technical issues, which meant that we can only start from frame three. Closing in to the end here, we can see that Tom is on yellows, Scott is on the reds. Tom's just played an absolutely exquisite shot up into that top right corner and dispatched that second ball into the bottom left with a not so easy shot into the middle, but I've seen Tom pot these. He can't make a mistake here, but he has jawed that off the corner, giving Scott an absolute golden chance to go 3-0 up here. Surely he'll take that middle red into the middle to put himself onto the bottom, into the bottom right and bring that cue ball up the table. But hang on a minute. In true fashion, Scott has gone for a stitch. I think Tom can still see this, but it's not an easy pot. I think that black ball is just up above the uh, middle pocket. It is. He's gone for a fluky hit and hope around the table. Even Scott with a long pot down the table if he can clear these up. These are still on for him to take that 3-0 lead. He's just having a discussion with someone over in the background wondering how he can get another stitch out of this position because he is not an attacking player. He likes to slow the game down, even making it boring for some opponents and some viewers to be watching. He has gone for a pot, but he's missed it well wide of the target, hoping that it might fluke into the middle pocket, but it hasn't. Tom now re-enters the frame with a golden chance to claw a frame back to make it 2-1. I think he's just waiting for the uh, player on table two to move out of his way so he can get down and a proper look at this black ball if he can get it into that bottom left bag. Wow. Get Gillette on the phone. I've not seen a shave that close to a ball in all my life. Tom there missing a guilt edge chance to make it 2-1, giving Scott a perfect opportunity should he be able to get that problem red off the rail, but he's come up the right side of it. Can he send that down the table into that bottom right bag and then put himself nicely onto the black? He's cut that too wide. That's gone down. Tom's running like a little girl who's just seen a sale on in the Disney store for princess dresses. He's made it 2-1. Back now into... Okay. <laughs> Sorry to all my viewers there for the pause. I've just realised that the score is currently at 2-2, even though the last frame would have made it 2-1. I've just been informed that our Only Frames editor had to cut out frame four because it was that bad, even Stevie Wonder would have turned it off. So anyway, we're here now in frame five. Uh, as you can see, Tom has brought this back to two all, which makes it interesting for the final game of the season where Tom is desperately trying to get into that top four position for the top four knockouts come the end of the season. Scott's firmly in there in uh, third place, along with Jez Del Senor, who sits second, and Chris Matthews, who currently sits unbeaten at the top of the table. Scott's fluking his way through these reds, and he's left himself a really sticky pot to play here. Now, can't quite tell. He's just checking to see if that ball is touching. I believe that ball is touching, which means Scott can play away. But this is a perfect opportunity for him to get one of his stitches in. Played it perfectly. Tom cannot see either of his yellows. He's going to have to come off the cushion, I do believe. If... Which shouldn't be too much of a challenge for Tom. As long as he doesn't put the white ball, that gives Scott a perfect opportunity to go 3-2 up. But he's left him an absolute peach here. I think you can see that red into the middle pocket here. But he's decided to go down the table. I'm wondering if he's thinking that black ball's a bit too close. It would have been a hard judgment call. Not left Tom with an easy shot to make, but I still think he can see that yellow just above. Put it into the top left, which he does brilliantly. Brings that ball a little too far down the table. I can't quite tell if he has stitched himself. No, I don't think he has. He can just see that other ball. I think he would have preferred it just a bit higher up above that black, but he's put that away perfectly, like a rat up a drain pipe or fin into a school playground. Time to put this game to 3-2. Frame 6 now. Tom has the lead. 
the first lead of the day for him after Scott has just thrown away a 2-0 lead. Should have an easy clearance here for Scott. With all reds. Not a great angle for that bottom red, so he's going to go for the top one. I think you can just about see that middle red. If you can play this, get perfect position with that cue ball. Not bad. He's done pretty well there. Still a hard pot to make, but he's still got to think about that black ball. That's just behind Tom's yellow. Bridging over Tom's. Hopefully he doesn't finger some balls there. Bring back memories of his university days. But he has missed it. Bringing Tom back into the frame. Can he make... Nope, I won't finish that sentence because he can't. But he's got second prize and he's given Scott a tricky, tricky ball to make down the bottom there. Giving him a taste of his own medicine. Not quite sure where Scott can go from here. Could potentially go between the yellow and the black there and come off the cushion to try and pot that red ball in. Or even go off the cushion, which I think he is doing now. I don't know if he went for the pot there, but it was an exceptional effort there. Very unlucky not to put that away. Just at the top there behind the lampshades of the proprietor of the pool hall that we do use to film our own frames content in. But Tom has just embarrassed himself in front of the man that he's known for decades. He's had to leave. He's just too embarrassed. It goes to show the decline in Tom's playing has drastically dropped since when he first started. Scott now onto the table. Again, there's nothing for Scott to do other than try and bring that red ball out and hope that he can get back into the frame again. With a perfect opportunity for a clearance here, should he get decent positional play with this cue ball? Brilliantly done. I think that yellow ball can just sneak past the black. But he's got to try and get that cue ball back out again. He's done that fantastically. little tap from an, of acknowledgement from Scott there. Whizzing round the table. Where's that white ball going? Whoa, very close, very close. I don't think he can cut this in to that right middle. I don't know what he's looking at there, if he's going to try and get it into that top right or if he's going to go for the double. He's gone for the cut and he's missed it. That jaw just stuck it out too far for Tom there. I don't know why he didn't go for the double to secure at least a point with a 4-2 lead, but he's given Scott the perfect chance to bring this back to 3 all. He's gone for another stitch. But he's played it brilliantly, but he's gone for another stitch when there was a perfect opportunity to sink that red. Wow. Tom's gone for an audacious shot there. Wow, this is really hotting up. This is getting exciting. Even my voice is changing. Woo! Scott just doesn't want to get rid of this red. I don't even know if he went for a uh, stitch or if that was just a Hail Mary to try and get that ball in. Wow. I have no idea what's going on here. Looking at that, I think Tom might have even stitched Scott there. I don't think he has. I think he can just see if he can get a bit of swerve on it, but I don't think Scott will mind me saying he hasn't got that in his locker in his own beliefs. If he can get that butt in the air and just get a bit of swerve on that, he can clear that red, but it won't leave that cue ball anywhere near where he wants it. Nobody wants this frame. They're keeping it at 3-2. Nobody wants this frame. A similar position to earlier on when Tom was 2-0 down to make it 2-1. Hopefully, if he's going for the cut, he can cut this perfectly. I think he has. It rolls in, finally. Tom, 4-2. He's now secured himself a point. Tom is currently sat in fourth place, though. Uh, but there is another game to be played from Jody if he can win his game against Ash then he will secure top four for himself and push Tom down to fifth Tom now with a healthy 2-0 lead not as healthy as what Scott's was earlier as again he did throw that away for Tom to come back into it 
bit of a cluster of balls, but he's fluked a second yellow in there after a perfect shot on the first yellow. But again, he's got that cluster of balls to deal with to try and get them out. I think he's just hit that a bit too wide. There he has. It's bounced off the cushion, but it sits perfectly over the pocket for Tom to deal with when he does come back. Joe in the top left just walked behind uh, Tom there. He's going to be one of our newest players in Season 2 when Season 2 starts. He's an ex-England pool player, so one to watch when Season 2 does get going. Scott just having a wander around the table just to see if there are any other options. I don't think he wants to break these reds up because they are slightly protecting him a bit. But he's gone for an audacious whack there and he's managed to pop one and spread the balls around. Giving him a perfect opportunity himself to clear this table. I think he's going down the table with this red because that yellow is blocking the middle. What a shot. That's impressive. I'm shocked by that because Scott's not an attacking player, but he's attacked that, showing absolutely no mercy. He has left himself a bit tricky here. Is that yellow ball still blocking it? He's used the yellow ball. He's pushed that out the way to pot his red. A little clap there from Tom in acknowledgement of how brilliantly that was done. His positioning is absolutely fantastic right now. If this continues, which it has... All he has to do is get that black into the middle and then that's 4-3 and he's bringing it back. No mistake there from Scott. Cool as you like. Absolutely fantastic. Now into frame eight, the final frame. Can Tom get all three points to secure a top four or will Scott pinch the last frame to make sure he stays in third and Tom leaves his destiny in the hands of Jody versus Ash? A long pot there, not as successful as his long pot in that last frame there for Scott, allowing Tom to come back to the cloth. But he's returned the favour, send that red ball a bit wide. But he's not left Scott an easy shot here again to make. He's got a bridge over Tom's red and there's nothing else on for him. So second prize there for Tom. For those of you watching on YouTube, we also do have an Instagram page, which is only.frames8ball. And we are also on TikTok which is at OnlyFrames62, where we post videos of different challenges, highlights of our pool league games, and also we show you best shot of the month and worst shot of the month throughout the games that are played, where you can interact with us, you can vote for your favourite, you can vote for your best and your worst shots. At the minute... Uh, player Tom and Scott are playing a bit of ping pong. Tom is dancing. He thinks he's win won this game. He thinks he's got the uh, advantage over Scott. Oh, unlucky there not to break those two yellows up with the cannon shot there from Scott. Very unlucky. Again, hasn't left himself with much other than to play up the table. And I hope that he might get a long double on. It's going. I can't see. Scott's in the way. Oh... Would have been a fluke had he have got it in. Tom back onto the green cloth now. With what should be an easy clearance for himself. If he can get rid of this bottom red, send that cue ball up the table and get it perfectly on for that top red. There's an absolute brilliant chance of uh, winning this frame. But Lubo... He's given Scott two shots. Lovely plant there from Scott. Little Mr. Green Fingers. Yeah, I think going for that bottom one would probably be the better option. Potentially have a long shot into that top left pocket. Bit of top spin to allow the cue ball to follow it up. But he's gone for the middle. Oh, very unlucky there. Inside of the jaw, but it still came out. But I do think that is blocking Tom's view into the middle. Unless he can take some notes from Scott's playbook and use his yellow to push the red in. I think that's what he's looking at. Nicely done. Oh, again, very close, but not close enough. But he has, again, left Scott with a tricky shot. 
this final frame is really tense. I can feel it through the screen. I think Scott's going for the up and down here. He is. He's got it. Move your head. It's in. Oh, what a shot. That can go in best shot of the month, I'd say. Which, again, viewers who are watching can play a vote for. Oh, that followed it nicely. Can Scott bring this, make it 4 all to secure a point? Skewry is third place in the league. And again, make Tom sweat on the game against Jody versus Ash, whether or not he'll finish in the top four for the top four KO. Scott's dispatched that nicely. That white ball stays on the table. It is four all. And that's it for our Only Frames content today. Thank you for watching and goodbye.